everybody! I say that the same way every time. Hi everybody! Hi everybody! You guys probably do know Zoella, right? She goes, hello everybody! I'm like, did I steal that from her and just like Americanize it? Hi everybody! Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a favorites video because it's been a little while and this is gonna be for May, even though May isn't fully completely over. You know, I've got some favorites and I want to share them with you. They're pretty great. It's an eclectic mix. I've got skincare, I've got fashion, I've got functionality, I've got a little bit of everything. So let's get started, shall we? Um, but up, I got to. First up, Osea Anti Aging Body Balm. This is more like an oil, sort of. I'll show you what it looks like. I put this on my body every time I finish taking a bath. It feels incredible. So it looks like that when it comes out. But when you rub it in, it's got a very slick, kind of greasy feel. But then you really rub it in, and then the greasiness goes away. <sighs> I was emailing Mary of Osea, telling her how the scent is one of my top five of all time favorites. It's kind of citrusy. I feel like there's probably a lot going on in there. The formula is enriched with sea minerals and all kinds of antioxidants. And it's a luxe skincare brand. And they do have a higher price point, but their ingredients are super pure. They're clean, highly effective, and one of my favorite beauty brands, hands down, since like the beginning. I have been a huge fan. Everything in their range is awesome, but this is the one I'm currently using like every night. I'm obsessed and I don't know why I haven't been using it every night like for years. This is like a new, new thing for me. Let me fully rub that in. It's like aromatherapy. It's like a two in one. You moisturize and then harmonize. Next up. Crystal, they have this mineral deodorant. When I got pregnant with my second child, was it my second or my first? I started breaking out in rashes from the natural deodorants that had baking soda, like out of nowhere, and I thought it was just like a freak pregnancy thing. But a couple months ago, I started getting rashes again from my all natural deodorant that does have baking soda. So I was like, whoa, I need to pull back on that. So I was testing out a few different brands. And even though this actually does have sodium bicarbonate in the ingredient list, it's kind of lower down and also, as you can see, here, let's see, can you see that? It's not like a fully white chalky looking bar of deodorant. It's kind of clear. It's clear actually. I'm gonna put some on. <laughs> Even though it does have baking soda, I feel like it's just a teensy bit because this does not irritate my skin at all. I don't know, I'm very grateful for that because I feel like I need the baking soda, you know, to like keep the stench at bay. It has to be a very fine balance, like the portions, the ratio of baking soda to other ingredients, I don't know. But this one is, is beautiful, it's perfect. Um, and the scent on this one, freshly minted, it just, I don't even get a mint vibe per se, it just smells very fresh and clean. Like a, like I just woke up and I opened up the windows and oh, it's, it smells like morning, like a fresh, beautiful spring morning. I don't know what other scents they have, but I really like this one. And again, it does not break my skin out into a rash, which is key because I'm a stanky beast and I need deodorant. I can't go without. Next up, Derma E. I am part of the Derma E squad this year, but this has nothing to do with my endorsement of this. This is not sponsored. But they have this product. It's an Arnica Warming Sore Muscle Rub. I'm kind of new to muscle rubs, but I work out five to seven days a week. And I started using this at night. So like if I take an evening class or even a day class and I'm still sore from the night before, if I put this on, like the tingly sensation is just like out of this world. I feel like even if I didn't have sore muscles, I would put this on just for that like tingly sensation. <laughs> I'm dorky like that. But this helps me actually fall asleep. It does set my muscles kind of like into a zone of relaxation and calm. This has hemp seed and peppermint oils and they're an all natural green clean beauty brand that are now in Ulta, they're in Target, they're just like blowing up all over the place. So definitely try this, especially if you have sore muscles and you work out a bunch and it's good stuff. Okay, next up, this is totally new to me. So CBD is in everything these days, which I'm totally grateful for. I think it's an awesome ingredient. Mind you, CBD doesn't have any THC, you're not getting high. <laughs> this is just all the goodness that helps heal you, helps relax you, helps you sleep. So this brand is CBD Living. This is daily lotion. So this is just everyday lotion you put on your body. It's full spectrum hemp extract, cannabidiol, 
cannabidiol, cannabidiol, I don't know how to say that, whatever, that word. And immediate bioavailability, no waiting. This is, so this is what's interesting. So this has 250 milligrams of CBD per 16 ounce bottle. So this says the scent is eucalyptus. I don't pick up on eucalyptus at all. Not even a little bit. Um, it, it has a nice scent, but it's, it reminds me, well, maybe there's a slight, slight eucalyptus scent. It kind of reminds me of like baby powder or like a soft fluffy scent. Um, like when I saw it was eucalyptus, I was hoping for like kind of strong and tingly, kind of like the muscle rub. So it's subtle, super subtle. I think they also have an unscented one and some other scents. So this has one milligram of CBD per pump. So this is also something I'll use post bath and just rub it all over my body. And I take baths at night. So this is super great to help, you know, get the sleepies going between that and this in my muscle rub. I'm having some sweet ass dreams, y'all. It's a good time. Speaking of CBD, okay. There's this brand called Botanical Rush and it's all these products are made by the same lady who created Michelle Dermaceuticals, which is another brand that like hands down I adore. But this line, everything contains CBD. And I think like 90 something percent of her products are vegan. Only a couple aren't. And I love the entire line and you can even smell the, what is it, the terpenes? Where it smells kind of weedy, but again, no, no THC, just CBD, just the good stuff. And this is the one I've been using nightly. I've been using a bunch of stuff from her line, but this one I'm super gaga about. It's the Crow Be Gone. Because, you know, I ain't a spraying chicken anymore, so like I'm worried about fine lines around here, the mouth, the eyes. And this is a rollerball, so it's super easy to use. Great for travel, just convenient and I like it. That's a fact of my gusta, mama likes. Also in the beauty department, Bite Beauty is churning out some all natural clean ingredient products. So they all have all kinds of beautiful makeup, lipsticks, vibrant colors, and they're starting to greenify their ish. And they have this lip care line, which includes this agave lip balm. So it's really thick. I like using this before bed. They also have like an overnight treatment and a scrub and a bunch of cool things. So it smells like agave. It actually smells like cake. It's a thicker formula. Like you really feel it on your lips and you smell really delicious and the lips feel uber hydrated. This is what it looks like. My only teensy gripe is I feel like when I put it on, it kind of like mushes around ever so teensy. But that's okay. As long as it stays in there, I'm happy. And I like the packaging. It's kind of like a bullet. Last on the beauty front, and sorry, I didn't clean this brush. The brand of this is Il Maquillage. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but they recently sent me a box full of goodies. This is their blending brush. Let's see, it's their 202 Duo Fiber Blending Brush, handmade in Italy. Oh, fancy. Their makeup's amazing. In fact, I'm gonna do a video where I just used their products only so you can see like how awesome this line is. Vegan friendly, it's cruelty free. But this blending brush is bomb. I thought I already had an all-time favorite one, but this one took its place. It's a little bit firmer. So as you're blending out your eyeshadow, it like really like hones in on like, okay, this area needs to be blended and it does it so effortlessly and I feel like in less time than a more floofier one does. This one's a little more concentrated. So I really like that. I think they nailed this and I'm excited about that. Okay. Okay. okay, next up, we're getting on to fashion. Uh, like I said, I work out five to seven times a week, and my favorite type of leggings and workout bras are the breathable kind. I don't like the super thick or shiny or whatever. I like, I like organic cotton. I like soft and breathable. Very important for women in their junk to keep things breathing downstairs, if you know what I mean. Navani came out with, I mean, they have a bunch of cool stuff, um, and they already had this line called Echo, which is their organic cotton and bamboo line, but they just came out with a new color, and it's this garden green. Absolutely gorgeous, and heads up, if you have even like a hint of green in your eyes, this will make your eyes pop. And not that that's what this is about, but check out the design of this bra, you guys. It's gorgeous. And it's padded, and if you are petite in the upstairs region, this is much appreciated. The removable pads, though, if you don't need that extra, you know, lifty love, you can take those out. And the corresponding pants look like so, again, so soft and stretchy, breathable, feel good, amazing. And 
they have this butt scrunch technology that gives your booty a lift too. Gives you a little bit more shape, which mama needs. Mama needs. I am super strong, but I don't quite have the buns that are on my vision board yet. But they're coming. I'm a work in progress. Progress, not perfection. These are fantastic. Oh my god. Amazing. Lovely. Lovely. Some of my all-time favorite workout clothes, hands down. Okay. Last but not least is this bag from Clever Maid. And check this out. If you're like, what is that? It is, check it out, check it out, check it out. Ta -da! This is a collapsible tote. It's made out of canvas and it has vegan leather lining and handles. And look how much stuff you can fit in there. And it even has an additional pocket. This is great for if you're having a picnic or you're going out shopping or you're traveling. I mean, check this out. You could put this in your suitcase and then by the end of your trip, oh, I need another carry-on, ta-da! I like to travel with it. I like to keep this in my car for emergencies. If there's ever like, oh God, I need to haul some ish from point A to B. Oh, well, I have a sturdy bag, a sturdy tote in my car to do so. So it's very versatile and functional and vegan friendly and it's just a cool, sleek design. Me gusta. So those are this month's favorites. I want to start churning out favorites videos weekly maybe because I just have so much stuff I am super excited about. But this is like what I'm currently using right now so I wanted to share that. I want to know what some of your favorites are. Have you tried any of these? Have you tried CBD beauty products whether it be lotions, tinctures, serums? Very curious about that because that's a new trend in the beauty realm so love to hear your experience about that. Also with deodorant, have you had any problems with baking soda? Have you found one that works for you? Dish, tell me all the goods. That's going to be it for now. I will see you next time. Mwah! Mad smoochies. And if you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you subscribed and also to turn on the little bell so you get notifications because YouTube, just like every other social platform, is not showing all the kinds of love that it used to, but all good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.